opportunity of being here today. This is basically my uh, PhD work. My advisor, Andre Nagmi, Daniel Faro, is not here now. Uh, William Choi, uh, recently, uh, Saulo, who is a colleague at the Federal University of Paraná, Curitiba. So, we want to study uh, the interaction of internal waves with topography, with arbitrary topography. So we set a two-fluid uh, configuration consisting in two inviscid, immiscible, incompressible, and irrotational fluids of different densities. For a stable stratification, we assume that the density of the upper fluid is smaller than the density of the lower one. Uh, we assume that the upper fluid, uh, the upper layer is shallow compared with the characteristic wavelength of the perturbed interface, and the lower layer is intermediate, so H2 is comparable with capital L. The, we have a rigid lid at the top. The coordinate system is positioned at the unperturbed interface. We have an arbitrary topography, sorry, an arbitrary topography, not necessarily smooth, not necessarily an unevaluated uni function of X. It is a bad function of X. We, we will parameterize it properly. Uh, so the irregular bottom is described in this wave. Well, L is the horizontal length scale for bottom irregularities. If it is uh, greater than the characteristic wavelength, we are in a, a slow topography regime. Con on the contrary, on the other hand, if it is much smaller than the characteristic wavelength, we have a rapid topography. The starting point are the Euler equations, uh, conservation of mass, balance of momentum, continuity uh, at the interface, namely two kinematic conditions and no pressure jumps allowed, a rigid lead condition at the top, and an irregular impermeable board. So, following Shoy and Kamasa, the non dimensionalization for the upper shallow layer is performed in such a way that the uh, coordinates. Uh, spatial coordinates, ho uh, horizontal and vertical, are uh, non-dimensionalized in different way according to the scale. We also have different scale for the two components of velocity, and we introduce the shallow water velocity and the dispersion parameter, which is small since the upper layer is in the shallow water regime. The non-dimensional equations for the upper layer uh, points the a possibility to perform a, an asymptotic expansion in the small parameter beta, and no assumptions is uh, made on the amplitude of the uh, perturbation of the interface of the wave. So uh, the usual <coughs> upper layer reduction by taking vertical means is performed in all quantities involving involved in the Euler equations for the upper layer, and this enables to obtain, sorry, to obtain uh, these uh, exact equations that were already uh, known by Wu and also Kamasa and Levermore, which are exact but now close. So uh, by performing asymptotics in the dispersion parameter, we, uh, Shoya and Kamasa, are able to obtain these two equations close equations in the perturbation of the interface here in red and the uh, uh, vertical average uh, horizontal uh, velocity. Here, use U1 bar. So the connection with the lower layer is performed through the pressure ten term by continuity. We can compute the pressure at the interface from the information from the lower layer and again, non-dimensionalization, a different non-dimensionalization is performed following the work of Shoya and Kamasa for flat bottom. Here we have the same scale, scale for, the, uh, for the space uh, variables and also we can introduce a potential velocity using Bernoulli law at the interface, differentiating and uh, using uh, expansions we uh, recognize that uh, it is only necessary to compute the, <coughs> vertical and the horizontal velocity at the unperturbed interface. So with this linearization, we have a Neumann problem at the interface that requires uh, an information, a data that can be uh, obtained from a expansion, tailored expansion and kinematic condition at the interface. So up to this order, we have 
a linear Neumann problem with an ugly condition at the uh, bottom. To deal with it, we perform a conformal mapping to transform this region, physical region, in a flat strip, introducing these coordinates and also the so-called terra coefficient that modifies the uh, condition, the Neumann condition at the top and uh, simplifies the information, the condi Neumann condition at the bottom. So with this flat, uh, in this flat uh, strip, we have to solve this problem in order to find the tangential uh, derivative at the, uh, and the uh, upper boundary to recover then the uh, velocity at the upper boundary, the physical velocity, uh, we are dealing, dealing with here, here with a coefficient that is analytical. Uh, it's an analytic function, and so it's a smooth coefficient in contrast with uh, the um, uh, description, uh, the original description of the topography. Now we need to transform Neumann information uh, derivatives, uh, normal derivatives into tangential derivatives and that is performed by a Hilbert transform. In this case, a Hilbert transform on the strip in, in con contrast with a Hilbert transform on the uh, half space, which is the uh, usual one. Here we have a different kernel because the region is different and uh, also the symbol of the operator is different. So with this operator, we transform uh, normal information uh, at the boundary into tangential information. That is all we need. So we have introduced the time following coordinates that not only introduce in the proper way, in a smooth way, the information of the topography, uh, to the uh, equations, reduce equations from the upper layer, but also parameterize in the proper way this curve here, not necessarily a polygonal shape. Here we use a polygonal shape so we can use the Schwarz Christoffel toolbox for my lab, for my lab MATLAB developed by Toby Drisco. So uh, with, the, with this we are able to uh, substitute the pressure at the interface up to the order of the approximation. Here we have two equations, this, a dispersive model, a Businesky type model, a strong nonlinear model uh, that uh, with two variables, the perturbation of the interface at the mean uh, horizontal velocity from the upper layer. When the bottom is flat, this coefficient is exactly one. So it reduces to the model uh, obtained by, derived by Shoei and Kamasa. And uh, we also have the, this non-local operator here in the dispersive term. This is, this is also a dispersive system. Since no uh, assumption was made on the amplitude of the wave, this is a strongly nonlinear model. It's a weakly nonlinear version, simplifies a little. <coughs> Sorry, the, the function to apply the Hilbert transform here, and uh, it is easier to implement numerically. And so in the unidirectional wave regime, we are also able to obtain, uh, in the case of a slowly barren topography, a variable coefficient, regularized intermediate long wave equation, we have a var variable coefficient independent of time. S again, if the bottom is flat, it is identically one. And we have the intermediate low wave equation, but regularized. We work it <coughs> with one derivative in time here. The nonlinearity parameter is here, and this is the proper relation uh, in this uh, shallow intermediate regime. In the case of rapid uh, varying periodic bathymetry, an, an effective intermediate long wave, long wave equation was uh, derived by uh, Daniel in a paper I show. I will not comment about this, just to mention. It is also in the paper in the last of the references. It is possible to, to uh, improve this model by uh, considering the already Done a higher, already known higher order upper layer equations. Uh, 
performing a beta, a beta expansion for the pressure team from the vertical momentum equation, we recognize first the hydrostatic contribution of the pressure to the pressure and also a leading order non-hydrostatic correction that is used here, expanding compressibility using kinematic condition, taking means, the, uh, and so on. Uh, it's po it is possible to obtain this system here. Again, uh, what is missing here is the pressure at the interface. This is a term uh, uh, that must be added that some of you may recognize here the so-called evolution equations obtained by Sue and Gardner and Green uh, and Green Nag independently, when the lower fluid layer is neglected and uh, the P represents the thermal pressure applied to the free surface. Of course, the uh, shallow, la uh, shallow layer is uh, reversed. So uh, here, to establish this analogy, analog analogy, you have to assume that gravity is reversed. But uh, besides that, what we need now is again an approximation for the pressure, so, uh, just a higher order approximation of the pressure, again from Bernoulli law, using Taylor expansion, everything, uh, computation is uh, uh, dropped to the unperturbed interface, and here uh, we have uh, an approximation above, uh, um, after substitutions that uh, indicates that we need a better approximation for the uh, horizontal velocity here. And there is a trick uh, uh, based on this uh, basic relation that Shoy taught to me. That is, is the following. We have a poor approximation for the Neumann data and it gives a poor approximation for the velocity we search for, and with it we uh, recursively refeed the uh, expansion. So we have a new Neumann data, better approximation. Here we also use Laplace equation in kinematic condition. Then again, uh, the better approximation we have to obtain a, a good approximation to the uh, order we need to substitute in the or higher order equations that involve uh, two, the composition of two Hilbert transforms with, uh, it's not the first time it appears, uh, Matsuno equations, for example, uh, has this. And so we have, uh, what, what I explain here is in the flat button case, it works also in the roof button. And after substitutions, we are able to compute a higher order expression for the pressure at the interface to be substituted in the uh, a higher order upper layer equations to obtain a strongly nonlinear corrugated model of higher order. I will not show it too long because <laughs> it's ugly. But the weakly nonlinear version has the, it is quite interesting since it is very uh, similar to the strongly nonlinear lower order model, only this term here uh, is, appears is different. So it suggests that the lower order, the strongly nonlinear model could be quite robust. And of course, that is again uh, with respect with the dispersion relation uh, by means uh, of a comparison with the linearized uh, Euler equations, we have this full uh, dispersion relation and the lower model accounts for in the denominator for the uh, information of the lower layer. The uh, hyperbolic cotangent appears here. But uh, for this hyperbolic cotangent in the shallow water regime, we only have a poor first approximation of this function that is improved here uh, with the higher order models. In, <coughs> so, and so the approximation is better. As we can see here, in red is the dispersion relation that comes from the linearization of the Euler equations. The dashed line, blue, sorry, blue lines are the approximation of the higher order uh, reduced model, and here the lower order reduced model. For low frequencies, it is more obvious. And of course, we can uh, continue doing these reductions of, to higher order, higher order, except 
because uh, the aim of these reduced models is to perform efficient computations. So when we try to perform numerics, we went to a periodic domain so that the non-local operator changed. Um, we normalized the shallow water ve velocity to, to avoid uh, any extra complications and uh, we uh, used the method of lines. We introduced an auxiliary variable gathering derivatives in time so the dispersive pa part is gathered here and we have to decide how to, how to approximate the spatial derivative, how to make the evolution in time, and how to recover the original variables after each time step. Our best choice up to now in terms of stability is to use a four order five point, point formula for the approximation of the C derivative together with the evolution in time performed by a classical for order runge kuta method. Saulo will give more details about this uh, choice comparing with other. This is our choice, our best choice in terms of stability since the, the matrices that comes from the, the matrices that come from the uh, discretization are topless, circular, um, skew symmetric matrix, matrices so that the eigenvalues are in the imaginary axis and uh, Runge-Kuta performs well here. This is two times the square of two where it cuts uh, the line one, so it's better than the Adams Moulton's the usual cor predictor corrector choice. Again, Saulo will explain that better. To recover uh, the original variable, well, the not so original, the reduced, the variable from the reduced model, the average uh, velocity from this auxiliary variable, uh, we do it in an spectral way in the sense that we uh, perform F T when possible, flat bottom, linear or weakly nonlinear case when the operator, uh, the Hilbert transform operator applies only to one function. But in the case of variable coefficients or uh, strongly nonlinear models, we have to uh, use explicit matrices, uh, big ones, because to describe the topography, we need so many points. So uh, I don't know actually if this is the best approach. At the moment, we are uh, studying the use of the alternate trapezoidal rule with diminishing uh, ha in a half the effective points involved in the computations and uh, beautiful properties of the corresponding circular topless skew symmetric matrices appears that uh, allows uh, a decoupling uh, of the computations, Saulo will explain that much better. And let me show some waves. Mm. So this is this could be not the, the best approach to to recover uh, after each time a step this quantity. This is uh, an ongoing research which shows only some preliminary results. Uh, for example, a wave propagating over a syn synthetic periodic slowly varying topography. Here uh, we see the Bragg phenomenon, I mean the reflective wave has, has to, uh, twice the period of the topography irregularities. Here in the linear corrugated model case and in the weakly nonlinear corrugated model case it is the same thing. So the bars marks twice the period of the bottom irregularities, the typical Bragg phenomenon just to illustrate we, we still have a lot to do in terms of numerical implementation and testing. Uh, in the case of um, uh, or, uh, in the case of a pulse propagating over a synthetic period but rapid varying topography, uh, uh, the, the topography is not felt. Uh, and we are uh, not still able to let the wave to uh, travel enough so to see uh, decay in the amplitude as predicted by Papa Nicolau and colleagues. So this is a pre these are preliminary results. Some uh, propagation of a single solitary wave t for the weakly nonlinear case, the uh, strongly nonlinear case uh, is hard 
to me <laughs> because of the initial condition. Here we take as initial condition the, the profile of the solitary wave of the uh, unidirectional equation, the medial long wave equation. Here again, the same profile. So we deri derive a one-dimensional, strongly nonlinear variable coefficient Businesky type model for the evolution in, of internal waves in a two-layer system. The regime considered was a shallow water uh, configuration for the upper layer and an intermediate depth for the lower layer. The rigid bottom has an arbitrary, not necessarily smooth Profile generalizing the flat bottom case derived by Choi and Kamasa. We dealt with this arbitrary topography by performing a conformal mapping and introducing a curvy linear coordinates. In the unidirectional propagation regime, the model reduces to an intermediate long wave equation with variable coefficients in the case of a slowly variable topography and weak nonlinearity. And the higher order reduced model, one dimensional model, is also obtained by taking into account the non-hydrostatic correction term for the pressure. It approximates better the full dispersion relation, and this is an ongoing research. Uh, as I said, the spectral approach may not be the best for multiple scale problems, since we have a topography here to take care of. And we are currently investigating this. We int intend to use the strongly nonlinear model and the weakly nonlinear higher order model to study the interaction of lar large amplitude internal waves with multi-scale topography profiles. Since they're focusing on stabilization of solitary waves for the large levels of nonlinearity allowed by these models is the goal of current research. Thank you.